This video is brought to you by the Crazy Aquarium Guy. Hello fish lovers and welcome to Sax Tanks. I had another beginning early this morning. I'm gonna leave that in. So it's gonna be a bit repetitive, but you have to excuse me for that because I have to start with this. Showing you my new merch. I'm proud of it. This is a size medium, so obviously not for me. But look. Greasy Aquarium guy. Really nice quality. I'm wearing one now. See on the back. There is hoodies. There is Miss Sunshine. Crazy Aquarium gal. Crazy Aquarium guy. And only Miss Sunshine. So you can wear them even if you're not a crazy aquarium person. Look at the quality, guys. And it's a fish fan member. It's Miss Priscilla that made this for me. Not for free, I paid her. No free favors. But, and the, ones, the one I have on me has been watched, washed three times and, all, and still looks this black and this good. So, welcome to my video log. It's gonna be all aquariums except one because that is the 250 liter aquarium here where I kept the goldfish, fancy goldfish wasn't that long ago I was 10 months ago but you have a good video just three videos back about that aquarium and I'm planning some new changes for that so I don't need to show you that so let's get on with the video and links up top morning also fish lovers I thought I would do a video log today because if I'm gonna release a video, it's gonna give me a really limited time. But we can still show you a bunch of really fun stuff. I came home, uh, I'm chewing gum because I hate bad breath in the morning. You can brush your teeth, but if you take a gum dentist prescription gum, goes faster so I have them right next to my bed uh, bedtime table so I'm waking up to a little bit of uh, looking at my aquariums catching up on an old live stream with Corey McElroy I haven't looked at aquarium videos for a long time so this is just me waking up it's ah, I've been awake for two hours, but now it's eleven twenty. How do you say it? Uh, a.m. Yeah, a.m. Still. So eleven twenty a.m. Yeah, waking up. Let's go and take a look at some aquariums. And some updates because I came home at what was it 7 30 p.m. and I need to go back tomorrow morning again so yesterday I changed water in seven of my nine remaining aquariums I have two left today it's one my 145 gallon um, with the Koi Angels, the uh, Rosy Tip Tetras, the Cardinal, the Green Neons that I have left, some Cardinal Tetras, Black Neon Tetras, uh, the Shrimp Tank, the small 8 gallon in the kitchen, so no big deal there. But uh, let's, uh, yeah. I cut the video here so I can, because I always sleep naked. Uh, I cut the video here and put some clothes on. And we go around and take a look at some of my aquariums. So, fish room tour or video log before Christmas time. Because I need to go back in the morning. I know I already said that three times maybe. But <laughs> still, not a lot of time. To work with my fish because I'm going away now and working six days straight because Christmas time is 
really good time for people who are shopping like crazy in Sweden. So we're gonna make them shop our gift cards for a better price. Um, two days after or one day after Christmas, when the big sale is in Sweden. It's that we in Sweden we celebrate Christmas 24. I'm gonna meet up tomorrow with the guy to plan a big tattoo and slash dinner. It's a friend also. It's a Michelin chef, so he's probably gonna give me some good food and drinks too. So that's gonna be nice. Then we celebrate Christmas at 24 in Sweden. 25 is just hanging out with the family still and 26 we open the studio again and make that super offer a uh, gift card deal me and my dad so it's gonna be live music and we have a big uh, tattoo shop in the gallery so we're gonna have live music uh, open bar and it's gonna be a lot of fun but then I'm gonna work three or four days straight after that so I'm gonna leave my fish for like seven days again so I'm gonna miss them so I'm gonna take really good care of them before I do that but let's go to the next part where I show you the fish and blow my nose because I'm having a little bit of cold still so that's why I'm talking like that so see you soon fish flowers we can start with this tank it looks like a mess today because I took out so much guppy grass and so much some wasa tang and uh, rikia moss and even a big Anubias border eye and some Anubias nana. I have a goldfish. I have nuked this tank for parasites and with my Asia. Asia NDX and Asia 2000 and if you haven't watched my medicine video go look at that it's very good look up healthy pea puffers pea puffers oh early in the morning figure 8 puffers that's been living three years in fresh water but with crushed coral and eating tons of salt and minerals so maybe that's why they still make it uh, goldfish is in, oh there's the other one, beautiful, they look so much better in reality and they do on camera, ah, this is the best I can do, I need to clean the glass as well but that's not priority number one, still have the guppies, still have about 100 yellow bristle nose fry, the goldfish is purely in there for duckweed attack and it's working look before every time I came home it was closed with duckweed so if you have a duckweed problem nuke your tank for goldfish can have a lot of different kind of parasites because they are not treated well especially if you buy feeder goldfish or stuff like that I bought a nice one was expensive one so and I looked very thoroughly before I chose the one that looked healthy. But still, I nuked the tank. Um, the lights just came on and the plants are growing crazy. With the Jewel Helia Lux 45 watt lead on a 50 gallon Jewel Rio Aquarium. Double filtration. Upgraded the pump head two times if you're new to this channel because it was a long time ago I went through the filtration so this is uh, 300 gallons an hour instead of what you get when you buy the tank that's like 70 gallons an hour so it's 300 gallons an hour so you get some surface agitations and you can get uh, two pounds of ceramic filter media and then some sponges and then some fine mesh that change often and besides that I have a Fluval 206 but I can't recommend the 206 series seriously guys if you have the money buy Eheim so many problems 
with priming them, so many problems with cleaning them. Look at the flow. And I don't even have filter, fine filter in this one. This one I only have ceramic to be build up a big biological, um, yeah, you know what I mean. It's early in the morning. I'm gonna stay, say a bunch of stuff wrong, but I'm not gonna cut and then and do it again. So, still a lot of shrimp. The Ninja shrimps are surviving from the. Figure eight puffers, but the figure eight puffers had so round bellies yesterday, so they were munching on the Atlantic frozen shrimps. And it's good, it's salt in them and minerals in them because they are already cooked right on on the boat. So I think it, it's good for them because I don't keep them in brackish water. Shame on me. I just, I want to go to the next tank, but I'm still naked, so I need to put some clothes on. Because the glare is gonna give you a beep pick if I show you the turtle tank over there. So let's, let me put some clothes on and we go through the other aquariums in my apartment. I love this tank though. The jungle look is nice. But I don't want to take out too much because I took out a bucket full, what is it, three gallon bucket with uh, plants yesterday to my giant ramstone snakes and they love it. These guys are buddies by the way, not fighting at all. Maybe I'm so lucky that I have one male and one female. They love each other, playing around. Never hurt each other's fins. Nothing. And they can hide easily in a second from each other. And there you see a little ninja shrimp that's surviving. You see him? I have all kinds in here. It's a morph tank. There's a red one. You see it? I have highly grade, highly grade black sakuras. Blue dreams and hollow looking ones all kinds so when i put in shrimp like this it's also for i'm going away it takes a lot of time for them to graze through the shell and get to the meat for the pleckles so i'm gonna put in more tomorrow but not too much we don't want to raise the nitrates or get ammonia and then get nitrite but this tank is one of my favorites I'm gonna keep it forever because I have a 3D background that I almost DIY myself with a friend for like eight hours and it's so easy to keep because I only take out plants because I have too much and change water 90% fill it up again 90% fill it up again that's what I do every week because I do heavy feeding with my GBL auto feeder really underrated auto feeder if you don't have an auto feeder buy this one I got it for $50 on sale and this is much better than any Eheim filter uh, feeder or jewel feeder or the wheel feel this is the best auto feeder and I'm going away eight to nine days straight every week. So trust me on this one. GBL auto feeder. You can even open here, buy a GBL can. If you don't want to use GBL food, you just throw that as stuff and give some other fish. But use the can, put it upside down here. Then you have food like this, and this chamber is big also. Then you have food for your tank, even if you have a real big tank for I would say over a month. So GBL auto feeder. This is just boxes of so it doesn't leak out food when I move it around. I, I turned it off now because I did a heavy feeding of other foods. 
but let let me put some clothes on and we go through the video log it's gonna be a long video I realized already because I talk so much like I always do that's what you get with Zach take it or leave it crazy aquarium guy see you soon fish lovers a little bit more video logging first <laughs> I have to excuse my apartment because it looks like shit. Because I, Nadi, I. Besides from having to change water in all my aquariums, I need to clean the apartment and wash a bunch of clothes. But I have my own wash machines and dishwasher, so it's not a big job, but it looks like this. See, clothes are hanging. Shout out for my new uh, merch. Look. Crazy aquarium guy. This has been washed now four times. Hand washed with in the machines, but still real good quality. I'm gonna show you more of these. Um, support me guys and buy one of these. You're not gonna regret it. Especially this premium t-shirt or premium sweatshirt or premium hoodie. Because they are so good quality. But if you only wanna support me with a coffee mug, that helps a lot too. So I promise you this, if 1% of my subscribers, that's 50 people of my 5,000, buy merch from me within the next month, I will make one to two videos a week again. Because then I can take an extra day off every two weeks from the money from the merch. So if you want to see more, help me, buy merch, enough out of that, I'm going to show you another tank. But I have to wait a little bit more because all the tanks in the living room are actually not lit up yet. But I'm going to show you the turtle tank right now, so I'm just going to turn around the camera and we look at the turtle. Same thing here, did 90%, up again, and then 90% and then up again. But I upgrade, upgraded this tank. Now, of course, they have done a bunch of things to the water and I just fed them. So, they have some fish that I got from my brother. I forget the name now. It's a really common fish. They get twice this size when they are fully grown. Perfect for eating turtle poop. Donatella, my first turtle. Look how huge she, she's gotten. Beautiful, always hungry. You can see by the shell that it's like this in the middle, that it's a female. And this is a male, you see, rounded shell. And these are the ones that I rescued. They didn't have UVB lights, they didn't have basking spot. They've been living for four years, so. And it's supposed to be a little bit smaller than the females, but I don't know. They don't even have the same color on the shell. So I don't know if they've been treated the right way actually. And these are omnivore. I usually say carnivore because they love meat. So I think they are carnivore in the wild. But people always correct me and say, no, they are omnivore. Okay, but they are not herbivore. And the, and the girl that kept these, she fed them for four years. Herbivore turtle food. So enough out of that, I'm not ranting about everybody, but now with the internet, what is your excuse not to keep your fish or aquariums better? So we have an LED light, Chinese one, the one that I had on the old beta tank when the plants looks amazing, it's super strong. Some guppies just to keep eating the particles like you see. This was crystal clear a minute ago, so they did something on the bottom here, maybe they fought or played around. I have my four turtles left. There's the big guy. He lost one of these when he was young from another fish. So that didn't happen in my aquarium. But they go really well together with the turtles. Some old heart clams they have ate they ate before. It's crushed coral in here and these will add to the crushed coral, give some calcium to the water. And every now and then I've tried water so it's hard enough so I put in a calcium rock or a turtle, you know, shaped like a turtle, the white ones you've seen, to see how hard the water is, but the water is pretty hard. But I upgraded. I fixed my 
Fluval U4 filter. So I have an FX6 Fluval U4 inner filter, an Eheim streamer, and Fluval Beagle streamer. So a lot of flow, a lot of action in here. This plant I haven't shown you. I, I did a video, but I wasn't happy with it. I didn't have the time. Don't look very well now because I had this light on and it gets too hot, too strong. So now I change to this cheap, really cheap plastic 11 watt. This is 40 watt. So this happens with the old one. Burn the leaves. Oh, Monstera! Monstera! This is called Monstera plant. Now I turn, cut it, but it's gonna turn back. Planted with a rock in a balcony hanging pot with fluid stratum. So it's thriving, but not looking great yet. You see, two domes, UVB in both, basking spot, really dry, warm basking spot. It's important that the basking spot is completely dry. Doesn't look as good because the cork bark has turned. A little bit down and loosen a bit but so I added these parts so completely drier here see no wet at all that's really important that the turtles can go up here and sit and be completely dry with both UVB and heat and it is this is not too warm either you see I can hold my hand this close that's the turtle tank Looking like shit now, but before I turn the video on, it looked really good. Now it looks murky. But also tons of Mopani driftwood in here, so the tannins get up, so it's not crystal clear. It's, it is crystal clear, but the tannins make it look dirtier. Like I told you yesterday, two 90% wood changes, double filtration. 100 gallons Double auto feeders this one uh, give all the guppies and Believe it or not these ones have really small mouths. It's not like big Opening sounds like a red-tailed catfish. It's super small vegetation mouths So they need small pellets and Another of the Eheim, a black version of the same that I showed you on the guppy tank. With a mix. Right now I feed them um, this. Aquatic turtle daily diet floating pellets. Juvenile. This from Exoterra. I found this really good and really healthy for the turtles. Sorry for the bad picture, but it's it's not me. It's just a phone camera. You do like this, yeah. You see, now you get the light. This is really good. But it's floating, and I've been feeding them sinking food for a year. So they are still adjusting to go and chase the food on top. And I mix this up with Hikari sinking, uh, me sinking mini XL and Hikari we can just go to the living room I, I told you excuse me see I can show you the aquariums because they're not all the double shihiris are on for the potos but see selling bunch of crap an old mini filter on the Swedish version of eBay this tank is out right now guys if you want to get a good deal this tank new, this is a salt water tank from, from the beginning, but it's luxury fresh water. It's out right now, it's ending, I think it's ending on two or three days, maybe one day when I release this video. It's out on Swedish version of eBay called Tradera. And my reservation price is $380. Because new this aquarium cost, uh, believe it or not, sixteen hundred dollars because all the back is a sump filter and it's an eheim that runs it all through so you it's 
pretty much the same as you can fit in the same amount of sponges and ceramics like equal to three FX6, FX6 filters so you can keep a lot of fish in this one so I really want to keep it for myself I have eight tanks and one tub now but I really want to get rid of the tub and have nine tanks rather and put this in the bedroom instead I'm gonna show you where I'm gonna put it because I don't think people are gonna buy it still a lot of money for an used aquarium three hundred and eighty dollars but it's a bargain you see wash my clothes have fan this living room you see how I live now not looking fancy but the bubblehead collection was I don't know so I don't know why but the camera turned off I think the memory was full or something it's 2k so maybe it's just a 10 minute limit or something uh, the bubbleheads are gonna go away this whole box I will save this beautiful cabinet of course but put the ocean aquas big cube aquarium here if I don't get the $380 I'm gonna keep it because like I told you new 1600 but if you want to get it because I need money I gonna sell it for the reservation price $380 so go and get it if you want it okay let's go through to the kitchen like I told you all nothing is on here alarm so don't fuck with me ah oh, now I said the swear word they're gonna take away that mm, here we have turned on this is just keeping all good look to see if I still have some giant ram's horns or and some floating plants to see Salvinia Nathans duckweed wood lettuce cheap LED I usually give my leftover LEDs to my mother she grows plants inside on in in the winter time it's very hard to grow plants in the windows in Sweden it gets pretty dark like eight hours of sunlight and if it's a bad day four hours so she appreciates it and I do something nice for my, my, my mother but this tank is the upgraded for the giant ramsworm snails they are munching away on green beans haricovert and the french green beans luxury food for my fish as usual but I emptied a 10 gallon bucket yeah 10 gallon bucket of uh, plants it's a boise tang, it's some Anubias non appetite. Maybe I take out the Anubias non appetite. I don't want to throw that away. That was a mistake. It takes 100 years to get one leaf. And Anubias borderi, guppy grass, java fern, you name it. Leftovers, they will eat it and love it. And this tank actually, my brother escaped for me. Because I told him I, I want one aquarium that doesn't look the same as the other ones. If you escape it, you're gonna think differently. So it took a few dragon stones to hit the sponge filters. Actually, he didn't hit the sponge filters. I added some extra dragon stones to hit the sponge filters better. I have a heater back there. Uh, one. Do I have to translate everything to gallons? You can think to yourself, okay? I'm from Europe. We use liters. 350 liters an hour uh, air pump for each big sponge filter and a Fluval 206 so really upgraded from a tub 20 gallon to a 50 gallon for just <laughs> snails but imagine this I feed my snails I feed my snails broccoli fresh cauliflower kale all kinds of plants green beans and then I, when they are fully pumped with vitamins I give them to my faka she can't get get better food than that that's why she is so beautiful 
I think. And that is why she lays eggs like crazy and is so happy. But today you're gonna see something new, and that is her new tank mate for the first time. I told you if you looked at the live stream, if you wanna get to know me more personal, I'm very personal in my last live stream. Go look at that. It's a long one. It started badly, my tripod <laughs> broke down in the middle of it. So first five to six minutes it's catastrophe, but after that it was a good talk. It feels good to be totally honest with you guys so you know what's been happening in my life. But this is crushed coral, some um, black carbon stones, like a path. It looks much better when they have eaten up all the plants. It's probably gonna take them a week. Then I'm gonna eat all the plants. And the giant ramsor snails, this is not even fully grown. They are super big. So, but it's so good for me to have this, I love this kind of thinking, like, instead of throwing away or selling because I got too much to sell and I don't have the time to get $5 and wait 10 days to sell some plants on eBay. So, I should sell for money, but it's not worth the time. Then people don't pay and they say oh it's broken I want a new one oh I didn't make it and the postal service effed it up and so on and so on so but I have this that all the plants that I don't use go in here and they eat it and they get the vitamins then the vitamins go straight through the belly and into the system of my Fahaka Puffer. I love when you can do it like that. And this shout out if you live in Sweden. I bought these two. Equally strong to the most expensive Eheim and they have not broken down. The Eheim broke down after three months. So they're... I love Eheim produ products. Usually I love all of their products, but their air pump was loud and broke down after three months and it was the most expensive version. And these ones, you can buy five of these for the same price as one Eheim. And these you have in, um, it's a Swedish shout out, so sorry for all the other guys, you're not going to be able to buy it. But if you live close enough, I can do you a favor maybe and send you one. If you don't have a cheap place, they are really good air pumps. You see, I haven't cleaned these uh, sponge filters in a year. And this is the flow from, from one of these. In a 50 gallon. So believe me, they are strong and they are cheap. They're cheap. I think they uh, $15 for one. And if you buy more, the more you buy, the cheaper they get. If you buy 10, it's like $8 a piece, I think. Aquarieimporten.se That's the name. That's a local breeder in the south of Sweden. And they sell... I always buy Rapashi food from them. I always buy New Life Spectrum from them. And uh, airline hoses. Small things. But Rapashi food and... They have sales on Rapashi food and they take half off so it's crazy you get repashi food for $15 instead of like $40 for the same can on different aquarium site so this is the upgraded sna uh, giant ramshorn snail breeding so get rid of the tub completely throw it away trash see I done silver tape I did some guppy breeding two years ago on, <laughs> on the dinner table when I was really crazy and high on my medicines but I'm gonna get rid of the tub and get my beautiful kitchen going again because it's, it's a nice kitchen and this is supposed to be over here this is my ice cream machine real one not you have to put it in the freezer bullshit it has real what is it called in English you know what I mean uh, it freezes the ice cream 
so you can make delicious real ice cream French handmade um, but we're gonna end the video here because none of the other tanks are turned on so we're gonna wait a little bit uh, only a second for you guys but a couple of hours for me I really I'm gonna try to put this video out hope you like this vi video log style it's gonna be a long video we can already see that but you asked for a fish room update and you're gonna get one you're gonna see all my aquariums in one video today so keep watching keep sporting so this is the 60 gallon cube not sh not much has happened the cryptocurrency plants are doing great no algae this I hardly never use so it's very balanced it's only bristlenose preckles and they of course make babies in here and some of them end up in the stomach of the dragon puffer but it's only bristlenose preckles and the dragon puffer who thinks he or she is invisible right now I think these animals, the dragon puffers, are a nocturnal. I know I have strong lights, blah blah blah, but remember I had big insomnia problems and kept this puffer in my uh, bedroom next to me. And the dragon puffer was active like a goldfish during the night for hours. And during the day laying still like this. So I don't think this is like the hairy puffer or the Suvati or Marius and all the other puffers that ambush. I think she's just nocturnal. You see this shrimp here? She loves that shrimp. She already knows, or he, that this shrimp is in the tank. But it's during daylight now. So as soon as the tank lights go out, she will come out and eat it. Of course, she eats during the daytime also. I've shown you that in past videos. But, mm, I think she's nocturnal. But I also bought some new floating plants. I didn't have any Amazon Frogbit left in my plant collection. So I bought some from the Swedish version of eBay. Very nice lady from the northern part of Sweden. Usually people from the north part of Sweden is more humble and nice. If you also are from Sweden, you know that I'm speaking the truth. You see, crystal clear water. But of course, as always, upgraded filter capacity. Oh, now when I pushed on the flowers. But it, the filter needs a clean also. It was a long time ago now. But it came with one size and I upgraded to twice the size and an airstone airstone just to add surface agitation it's a very deep aquarium so that's a dragon puffer tank not much okay, more to tell guys. do you have that expression in English time optimist you must have a word for it <laughs> Since the first video this morning, it was 11, and now it's 11 again, so it's 12 hours later. I haven't done all the aquariums yet. I mean, I haven't filmed them. I promised you to show them. So, this is the nano tank. Uh, just recently, I added the second one. Uh, I had this an extra one because I told you I sold out the nano tank because I was too ashamed. <laughs> to say that I, they when they said yeah, I had two here next to each other in a champagne bottle and just a swing like this psh, and all over the floor eight gallons eight gallons on the floor is so much more than you think all the towels I had in my apartment whew, down on the floor but enough about that some Salvinia Nathan's growing it's very strong light 16 watts of LEDs, but only for six hours. So we'll see how it will do with algae. 
um, Wooden Letters and Salvinia Nathans. I always spread out if I get some new, the Salvinia Nathans is new. I bought that the same time when I bought the frog bit and I spread them out because if it doesn't thrive in one aquarium maybe it thrives in another one so we don't have to buy them again and this is just the basic look of it I changed water because I saw oh it's been 32 days I better change water so now all the shrimps are hiding of course for the video but it's no high quality it's just keeping shrimp you see if I want to keep high quality I should take that one out I should definitely take that this one out but my brother has 200 fire red so I'm not so worried I can pick those out when I need to but this tank is in a need for a rescape but it looks looks good now it's super late but I mean I would have changed once a month once every three weeks and clean aqua clear 50 it's on the lowest setting with an uh, sponge filter in, on the intake and too much filter floss just to make the flow and set to the lowest to make this possible otherwise the shrimp would hate that flow so it runs by itself we go to the next tank I set up the tripod and we take a look at the two tanks that you stayed here for <laughs> The new flag tail that's been in there for 10 days now, medicated uh, in the 178 gallon, 175, oh, something like that, and the 145 gallon, of course, with my 100 Cordoras and Koya Angels. Okay, till the next aquarium, guys. So fish lovers, this is the Faka tank now. Can you see how huge that flag tail is? To get that delivered to your home for hundred dollars. That is a effing bargain. But the Faka has been acting really strange because she has never seen a fish bigger than her before in her life. Remember I got her when she was like this. <laughs> so she's not I don't know if she's angry, but if she's shocked. She can't, she doesn't know what to think. The biggest old school Eheim inner filter, two FX6 filters, one fluid streamer if you're new to the channel. And now of course a second auto feeder for the flag tail, which I have filled with new life spectrum uh, cichlid formula because it has really good nutrition and this is almost a herbivore fish so I really want this fish to stay away from my plants and that's gonna be a risk I'm willing to take because I know I should have gotten a photo how she looked when I put her in the tank she was destroyed he came with the biggest bucket he had and she was been flopping around in it losing scales no colors, torn up fins. It's pretty amazing that she looks this good already. That's how bad she looked when she got here. But I got picture before he took her out. So, because he wanted to be honest with me that this trip is probably gonna do something. And I said, it's okay, I know how to <laughs> transport a fish in this size. It's not, it's not something you do easy so you see the cryptocurine uh, undulata is growing like crazy we have uh, you can't really see it I can go closer we have some ex willisy and Becky T Petki is all around the shells here 
but the red venti is spreading out. I think that's the venti. It's so hard sometimes with crypto crypts because they can look completely different in a different tank. So this crypt can be the same crypt as this one, but it looks like this because I put it in later and it gets more light or less light. Because the lighting on this tank is three LEDs. Fluel 2.0, 54 watts, biggest kind. Jubal Helix, the middle kind, uh, 45 watts, one meter. That's in the back. So the Fluel is the one that's, it's not the longest, but it has the arms attached and it's the biggest the Fluel has. You see, you can even see the glare from the other tank. It's always hard to make a good video about this aquarium. I'll really show you how it looks for me. So she is acting weird. She doesn't want the langoustine. She has been eating them, uh, but not the first day and not even the second day, maybe the third day, if I don't put something else in. She only eats her favorite thing, giant ramson snails but not when I feed her during the night if she pass by them so she is really adjusting to having another big fish in her aquarium I don't feel sorry for her because she doesn't look stressed she's just not used to it she doesn't know what to do that's my opinion I don't know I could be wrong of course so that was me with the new tripod trying to take it off but I turned off the camera instead. A lot of al algae on the glass, so it's not the water that's dirty. Do you see? Red red and green spot algae, the hardest one to take away. Doesn't work with mag float, even the big kind. It works, but you have to go through it 20 times, and then it's a big risk to scratching with the crushed coral or something. So I'm actually getting a one with the scraper on it. Try that one out. We have another crypto Korean over here that I've never been successful with before. I don't know why. If it's the first crypt that likes soft water, maybe. I always kept it in crushed coral and pretty hard water. High pH could be the reason. I don't know why. You see the algae here. It shouldn't <laughs> show the algae like I do. Here you see the algae very clearly, but it's two hours with this tall tank. This t this tank is almost one yard tall. I think it's one yard. It's almost one meter tall. And the braces on top is so big and wide, so you have to go with a weird angle, put everything away from here and you see I have an auto feeder over there a painting here an auto feeder over there three LED lights I was in the middle of describing the LED lights I also have an aqua stable LED light both those have cold colors in them I really should have picked something more with red and yellow that's why my pahaka always looks so mm, what do you say she would look a lot more yellow if I had three Fluol 2.0s because the other ones are almost marine lights with blue in them. You see the blue shine in the middle Fluol and in the back really cold white. You can see the three different kinds. So it's uh, cold white and blue and in the <laughs> one in the far back it's really cold white and blue and in the middle it's full spectrum. Fluel 2.0 Yeah, this aquarium is going well, but when she poops or he I don't know the gender um, If I have to guess It's a uh, He because this fin has been bitten off or got destroyed, I don't know, or bitten by the Fahaka, I don't remember now, or destroyed in transport. But it looks like a male, I think it's hard to sex these flag tails. 
this was an impulse buy because I knew I want one, but I don't know so much about them. And she, and she still has some wound on her face over there. You can see the white because the bucket was almost she couldn't even turn around in it. So, but her colors are already back. So I'm super glad for that. She is cleaning up the substrate. The vodka used to blow in sub, you see. She, Miss Sunshine, she's shocked. Who the is in my aquarium now? What is this big fish doing here? This is my territory. So this is dangerous. One bite underneath the stomach, over the head, over an eye, could kill the flag tail. So I'm not telling people to do this. But I think it will work because the flag tail is so big. So I think the Faka will be like, oh shit, maybe I can't win this fight. So eventually she have to accept the other fish. That is what I'm hoping for. But you can see, as usual, my plants are doing great. Here you can see the uh, Becky T. Petki, very, very small crypto green, but very beautiful. If I pick the shells out, but I don't want to do that. Look at the Fahaka biting on tails. This is tail that I put in to get the X Willisy that you can't see anymore in the back there. To get it weighed down when I moved it here. <laughs> to get that weighed down, I put in a lot of these. And then I went on a vacation, and she was like, I hate orange and I hate yellow, and destroy them. That's how strong the bite is. No problem biting through them. Didn't even help with her bucked tooth that I'm talking about. She has a beak right now that looks like this. One is too long. That's why I bought the langoustine for $60 a kilo and she is ignoring it because I put a flag tail in with her. This is my biggest aquarium but I have more surprises coming up on the, this channel so stay tuned. This is not the last aquarium, we're gonna go to the 145 gallon. That will be the last aquarium for this video. But I already bought some upgrades for me. I had to get some Christmas gifts, right? For myself. This is more how it looks for me. Phone makes it more bright than it is. But it is really bright, it has to be to get growing like this in a tank that is one meter tall and the reason why I custom asked for a uh, one meter tall tank was space look look there's the TV biggest I could fit in this place so this is my latest aquarium I think it was the last I bought so it was the only space I had left. But they... Yeah. That is good. Maybe she will eat it now when she... She's always like that. When the yellow Chinese algae eater is trying to eat her food, she's like, Oh, it must be tasty then. It's mine. And she goes out and eat it. Hopefully she will go and bite at it now. But probably not because she's been refusing food for so long. Look at her. She's never this slim. Oh, there you see example of the poo. Poop like this all the time from the big fish. So I keep an extra eye on this aquarium now with water changes because adding a fish like this is like adding... I'm not sure the bacteria can handle it because Two FX6s and one of these can handle it. That's not the case. The case is when you put it in, it's used to the Fajaka's poop. And now it gets double the amount or more. Like that. 
so it needs time to adjust. And I think I will upgrade one filter. <laughs> That's the clue to what I'm getting for Christmas. So you will see. The only way to upgrade from an FX6 is the old school monster. And if you're a really fish keeper that's been a, in the business for a long time, you know what I'm talking about. I don't have to say more. Let's go to the next aquarium. But I need to cut the video. I, j I want to just turn around and show you, but I can't because I have to move the whole table to g show you this. So we need to cut here. See in a second. I always put this tank on tripod because I have shaky hands and stuff like that. So today we're not gonna do that. I'm gonna do something about this hanging. I'm talking about it so long, but it's gonna happen now, soon, because I bought some new equipment for that. Because I wanna hang the lights like this, maybe even a third light, taller, and then draw some strains, some wires from these wires, so we can have pothos like this instead if you understand what I mean but it focuses on my hand when I do that sorry guys let's show the aquarium what do we have in here so obviously you're not gonna see be able to see everything we have in here because it's late I actually changed the timer this it's almost midnight so it's super late for them but I have like 40 black neon black you say black neon tetras I think so and the green neon tetras that survived the super 90 93 degrees Fahrenheit summer uh, five angel fish uh, to I don't know what they were called silver gray angel fish black fin it's so many different kinds of angels I don't remember white fin rosy tetras 60 corridoras believe it or not but they always hide so it looks like I have 20 but 60 60 about 60 then about 40 more it's 100 but I haven't looked for a long time so let's say 40 died then I have 60. I don't think 40 died, but this summer was crazy hot. But Cordoas usually don't have problems with that. I don't think the light is how it looks. Uh, no matter how I do it, it's a glare from the bigger tank behind me. This will do. So the Koi Angels nuke the whole aquarium, of course. Just in the, just to be safe. Huge Siamese algae eater, Denison Barb. I have some plecos, bristlenose, and yellow bristlenose. And I also have four L52 plecos in here. They are pretty rare, very good looking. They look almost like leopard frog plecos. Not that good, not that sharp edges and uh, stripes like the leopard frog, but the exact same pattern white beige against black L52 look them up and I saw them the other day when I fed the uh, prawns I fed like 10 prawns let them lay still and I have to sit real still because they go back in caves tons of caves and hidings behind all this and they go back like this when they feel vibrations and same with corridors the bristlenose doesn't care as much. Some yellows has come in here. I have so many yellows, uh, so there are gonna be mixes in here, I don't care. This is my community tag now. You see how few rainbows I have left from <laughs> the old time. I don't even wanna talk about it. It's too de depressing. Me adding two new a a rainbows and after that everything crashed this is the 145 gallon run by two fx6 filters and one 
hanging back that's equal to an aqua clear 110 or aqua clear 190 it's an aqua l but if i'm gonna compare it to something that's the one and i just recently put in a really big new cave here so the plecos won't fight so much about the new the other caves because they are reproducing in here and I really want the L52 to make natural babies in this environment that would be awesome plants, Anubias, Anubias, Anubias different kind of Microsorum Dwarf Sagittaria big root system from the pothos hanging down taking away all the nitrates two days in a row I feed handful of pellets in here to feed all my hundred corridoras and plecos and yeah and then uh, tetra tetra ruby flakes for the small fish chunks chunks and then big wood change of course but the potos is helping a lot with that also the gbl shout out really good auto feeder easy to clean big chamber you can set it to four feedings every day small amounts and you can set it to four different times from one to eight on the level of how much it's gonna put out and the batteries last long also not if you put in viper chips or something flat because it has a spiral so you need round pellets or grants but so you can't put in Hikari massive or you can put in it but the battery is gonna run out in like three weeks because it's gonna have a rough time pushing it forward so still some Atlantic shrimp on the bottoms but they're gonna be eaten tonight by the plecos when they come out I'm gonna put in some more sinking foods just before I put the lights out for all the rare corridoras because they're never gonna show themselves during daytime that's the bad thing you pay a lot for expensive corridoras but it's only the cheap ones that come out <laughs> so if I do this ever again buy a hundred corridoras I'm gonna buy a hundred salt and pepper or hundred bronze corridoras so when I feed they come out or hundred maybe hundred panda corridors because they aren't they are also scared because I have like 10 or 15 in here but you can always see at least one but they are still more outgoing than the palatios in the background you can see one over there behind two other corridors behind the log then is some barbs oh, I lost them during the time when I lost all the rainbows as well so this has been a super long video i'm gonna end it now video log fish room tour i'm gonna put it in both swim tails and in fish room tour in playlists because it doesn't got it's not gonna fit in any of those but because we have another aquarium that i didn't show you my oh the gallons my 70 gallon fusion tank with two Fluval 2.0s and Eheim Professional number 4 and Fluval 406 the white tank that I kept discus in for and goldfish the, that tank has looks completely different now so but I want to show you when I'm finished with that one so this is all my aquariums except one and we'll see if someone buys my cube you still have the shot to get a really good price on a super high-end aquarium you see one solid glass piece not even edges with silicone it's out on Tradera if you're local because this you need to pick up it's super heavy thank you so much for watching fish lovers and take a look at my merch and support me if you support me by buying merch you're gonna be happy because it's premium quality and you get more videos from your crazy aquarium guy 
Bye bye fish lovers. You mean a lot to me, everybody. And those of you that looked at my live stream, you know what I've been through. Bye bye. And Merry Christmas.